Welcome back to our channel. As tensions rise in the South China Sea and around Taiwan, one thing is becoming increasingly clear. China is preparing to heavily rely on drones in any future conflict. With its massive drone fleet, China could use swarm tactics to overwhelm enemy defenses, including the Philippines. So how can the Philippines counter this threat without exhausting its stockpile of expensive missiles or relying on inaccurate gun-based defenses? The answer may lie in laser weapons, an emerging technology that is changing the battlefield. In this video, we'll explore why the Philippines must invest in laser weapons for tactical air defense. Let's dive in. China has built one of the largest drone fleets in the world. From reconnaissance drones to armed UAVs and suicide drones, Beijing has demonstrated its ability to use these platforms effectively. In a future conflict, drones will play a crucial role in surveillance, targeting, and direct attacks against enemy forces. For the Philippines, this is a serious concern. With limited air defense assets, it will be difficult to counter mass drone attacks using traditional means. Surface-to-air missiles, while effective, are costly. Each drone shot down by a missile could cost millions of dollars, an unsustainable approach for prolonged conflict. On the other hand, anti-aircraft guns lack precision and may struggle to counter highly maneuverable drones. This is where laser weapons come in. Laser weapons, also known as directed energy weapons, use concentrated beams of light to heat up and destroy enemy targets. Unlike missiles, which require large stockpiles and reloading, lasers have unlimited ammunition as long as there is power. This makes them a cost-effective solution for countering large numbers of drones. Several countries have already developed operational laser defense systems. The United States, for example, has tested high-energy laser systems on warships and land-based platforms. Meanwhile, Israel has developed the Iron Beam, a laser-based system specifically designed to counter drones, rockets, and mortars. If the Philippines wants an affordable and sustainable air defense solution, laser weapons could be the key. For the Philippines, adopting laser-based air defense systems offers several advantages. Number one, cost effectiveness. Unlike expensive missiles, laser weapons can engage multiple targets at a fraction of the cost. Number two, accuracy. Lasers can precisely target drones and small, fast-moving threats with little risk of collateral damage. Number three, scalability. Laser defense systems can be integrated with existing air defense networks, including radar and tracking systems. Number four, sustainability. With proper power sources, lasers can operate continuously without the need for ammunition resupply. While the Philippine military has been upgrading its air defense capabilities, most systems are still missile-based, making them vulnerable to saturation attacks. Investing in laser defense systems would provide an additional layer of protection for military bases, coastal defenses, and key infrastructure. Despite Israel's hesitancy to take a strong position on the Philippines' disputes in the West Philippine Sea, it remains a valuable defense partner. Israel is a global leader in laser and defense technology, and its iron beam system could be an ideal choice for the Philippines. Engaging Israel for laser defense cooperation could provide the Philippine military with cutting-edge technology while maintaining strong defense and economic relations. The Philippines has already acquired radar systems, drones, and missile systems from Israel, making it a natural next step to explore laser weapons as well. Of course, developing and deploying laser weapons is not without challenges. These systems require significant power generation, making them ideal for fixed installations or large platforms like warships. The Philippines will need to invest in infrastructure to support these weapons and integrate them into its existing defense network. Additionally, 
Policymakers must prioritize funding for emerging technologies, ensuring that the military modernization program includes directed energy weapons in its future procurement plans. The battlefield is evolving, and so should the Philippines' defense strategy. With China set to deploy massive numbers of drones in any future conflict, traditional air defense systems may not be enough. Investing in laser weapons could provide the Philippines with a cost-effective, sustainable, and highly accurate solution against airborne threats. Now that we've explored the reasons why the Philippines must invest in laser air defense, let's take a closer look at potential deployment strategies. Number one, naval defense. The Philippine Navy could install laser defense systems on its warships to counter drone swarms and incoming missile threats. This would provide a crucial layer of defense, especially for patrol vessels operating in the West Philippine Sea. Number two, base protection. Military bases and critical infrastructure could benefit from land-based laser weapons. These installations would act as a protective shield against drone incursions and surprise attacks. Number three, mobile air defense. Integrating laser weapons into mobile platforms, such as armored vehicles or truck-mounted systems, would allow for rapid deployment in conflict zones and remote islands. While Israel is a top contender for laser technology collaboration, the Philippines should also explore partnerships with the United States, France, and South Korea. The U.S. has already tested ship-based and ground-based laser weapons, while France and South Korea have ongoing directed energy weapon projects. As part of the Self-Reliant Defense Posture SRDP, program, the Philippines should also consider developing indigenous laser weapon systems. Collaborating with local defense firms and research institutions could lead to homegrown solutions tailored to the country's specific needs. The world is entering a new era of warfare where drones and high-tech threats dominate the battlefield. The Philippines must not fall behind. By investing in laser air defense systems, the country can enhance its ability to counter drone swarms, reduce dependency on costly missile systems, and improve overall military resilience. What do you think? Should the Philippines push for laser air defense technology? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more defense-related content. See you in the next video.